What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Video here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we continued our heated escapade on Angie, which is honestly well deserved. Uh, we have to start this episode with some free time, so at least that's a positive. However, we now know and I've confirmed that half the cast is blocked, which is unfortunate right now. Um, uh, when I did talk to Kibo, Kibo's response was that he loved my gift and my gift did not allow him to proceed, which means he is blocked, which is a problem. It is a huge issue because um, now that limits my cast potential. So I needed to come in kind of with more of a plan. I have a feeling we're going to get two free times. So plan numero uno is get Miu. And plan number two is try for Kaido. Um, Miu and Kaido are the two that I want today for this free time. Um, I should probably double double check if I have something for Miu. I think I still have. I don't, I don't have the office chair that she liked actually. Let's see if I actually have stuff that I know people like. I know I have stuff that Kaido likes. Because I have the, like, really good for astronauts gift. Actually, wait. I know I have something for Kyo. So we'll do Kyo Kaido? No, I want to do Mew, though. Or, uh, Maki, though. Ugh. That's so hard because it's like I want Maki. I like Maki a lot. But I don't have anything that I just like know is good for Maki. Would you like to leave? Yes. Because we want to go see Kyo Kaido. Oh. Kaido's right over here. Just gotta find him. He's near the dormitory somewhere. Or maybe he's in his room, actually. If he's in his room and we can't talk to him, that's also a valid plausibility. We'll try it, but he might be in his room. Which would present a huge problem, but... Well, not a huge problem. It just changes our target, but... Knock, knock. Dot, dot, dot. Click. Ugh, Shuichi. Sorry, man. The chills won't stop. I gotta rest. See ya. Okay, so we're not allowed to even talk to freaking Kaido. Is Kaido okay? No, clearly not. Um, okay, well, where's... Where's Kyo? So again, change of plans. So it would have to be Mew, then. Or Maki. Which I honestly, with Mew and Maki, I kind of want to like go to the mono machine stuff and just make sure that I got a good thing for them. I'll be perfectly honest. I want to make sure that I, because I know at least she, somebody, she liked the chair. And I know one thing that Maki liked. That's the fourth floor. Probably in his own lab. Yup. That's what I thought. Okay. I figured that Kyo would be chilling in here. I figured we'd have at least one hangout session in his lab. There'd be no way we wouldn't. So that actually is kind of perfectly fitting for what I was expecting. Correct, Kyo. How terrifying. The dark arts of the caged dog village were sealed away for being too effective. The caged child was one such art. It seems futile. Lord, to be the worst of the dead. Should I hang out with Kyo for a while? Of course. <laughs> dead men tell no tales. <laughs> what a foolish saying. There are countless ways to speak with the dead. I listened to Kyo talk endlessly about se our seances. Kyo and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyo a present? 
Yes, Bestie needs a present. Give Keo the Turkish thing. Wonderful. Oh, what a fine gift. It almost makes me sorry to be the one receiving it. <laughs> so then. I would like to at least tell you some stories in return. Which one, though? Hello. Since you're here, you wish to learn more about anthropology, yes? Is that all right? Yes, I would like to learn more if that's all right with you. I am pleased. Of course, I will speak of it for as long as you wish to hear it. Perhaps we should sit somewhere for our discussion. Where are we going to go? Oh, the dining hall room, okay. We decided to sit at the dining hall and drink some tea while we talked. Whatever is the matter? You seem to be looking at me with some strange expression. Is something wrong? Uh, um... Well, um, you're always wearing that mask, Keo. I was wondering how we would drink the tea. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. This, I take it off at times like these. So he does take it off sometimes. That makes sense, or else he couldn't eat or drink. You see. And I replace it with the ma- Or I replace it with a mask for the meals. Huh? A mask for meals? That's correct. That is correct. I have one for bathing, sleeping, and even exercising. So he has a variety. Well then. If you will excuse me. After excusing himself, Keo turned um, to me, or turned back to me, and began changing masks. He could just take it off, but he doesn't have to have so many kinds. Why so or why so particular about that? So then. Thank you for waiting, Shuichi. Hmm. Huh? Did you change your mask? Yes. I did. This is my one for meals. It looks exactly the same. So then. So, I will proceed to enjoy this tea now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. This tea has a nice scent. I usually prefer green teas, but this is wonderful. Kiyo looked to be in a trance as if he brought, or as he brought the tea, cup of tea to his lips. But won't it just spill on the mask? Wonderful. Uh, the mellow flavor that makes it smell familiar to the tongue. Huh? The mask isn't wet. Did he pour it into the slit? I didn't even see him do it. Oh, oh well. Ah, and we have cookies as well. They look delicious. Cookies. I'll definitely get him to take his mask off to eat that. I held my breath as I watched Kiyo as he brought the cookie to his lips. Hmm. What the? What happened? The cookie just disappeared. Oh. What's the matter? Uh, um... it, the cookie, it just disappeared. I see, yes. Well, yes, because I put it into my mouth. But it didn't look like you ate it at all. <laughs> You're wondering how I ate it, weren't you? If you are vexed by such trivial things, then your world is still very small. Do you understand? I will open your world through the anthropology, if you so desire. Kyo's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. I love that we kept the music, though, from the fourth floor. I like that Fuller's music a lot. After sharing some tea, I returned to my room. There's still some time until nighttime. More free time. Okay. So this is where I'm going to chill a little bit and go to the price corner and hope to get one of the repeats. That I know work for Maki and or Mew. And whichever one I get first, whether that be the obesity chair or the sandbag, the KO sandbag, will go to see first. That sounds like a plan to me. Because I like, I'm of the framework of let's play things safe, right? Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be too risky because if, as soon as I'm risky, I lose things and things go catastrophically wrong. So, we have the time, we have the stuff. I see that we're at 13 minutes, so I'll just use that as my guide. Obviously, we lost a couple minutes anyway, so there's just gonna be a couple of like big, giant cuts, and I gotta know that. I gotta be prepared.
There we go. I know who we're seeing now. Mew is, Mew is the answer. The, the, the mono machine, the mono machine decided that Mew is who we're going to talk to, not Maki. That's fine. I was, I'm fine with either one of them, so. Is Mew in her lab? Oh, no, she's in her room. Oh, we're going to go see her in her room. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Um, okay. Oh, my God. And there's poor Maki. Oh, I feel bad. Maki and Mew are in the same spot. That's okay. I'm going to go fish for items probably in between chapters. So, like, next chapter we have a free time event. Because I'm assuming we're going to be out of free time events after this. Um... That, like, next chapter, we have to just focus on that a little bit. And just kind of see if we can get a repeat rate to 100% and, like, get all the items at this point. Hi, Mew. Or, um... What? Yeah, Mew. Man, Shimichi, you're looking more pent up than usual! Should I hang out with Mew well, uh, for a while? Even though it might not be safe to ask. <laughs> what? Hey, uh, are you really that pent up? Because I'm not that easy, you know. It's okay, girl. I spent some time with Mew, and she was oddly distant. I somehow ended up growing a little closer to Mew today. Would you like to give Mew a present? Yes. The game delivered us the work chair of doom, which we know she loves, because she said it already. What was that? What? I've wanted this so bad ah! not bad for a perma virgin when are you planning to slip some flip off these old big old titties of mine well if you're gonna tug it to me every day i guess i can let it slide haha <laughs> <laughs> i am fan fucking tastic mood today uh, hmm. sure looks that way what hey hey why is the grumpy face uh <laughs> i know you're all plugged up huh <laughs> then let me give you a little something to get things moving <laughs> Why is Mew in such a good mood today? It's a little creepy. Hey! Come, Suichi, to my research lab! Completely ignoring my confusion. Uh, ignoring my confusion, Mew headed to her lab. Back to her lab. Is she gonna give she's there should be some more inventions, probably? Well then. Now let's get uh, started. Started? Start what? <laughs> Clean the shit out of your ears, Puichi! What? That being said. Face your eyes on the latest invention of the genius inventor, Mew Arima! Aruma, Mew showed me. Are these sunglasses? What was that? Not just any sunglasses. They have built-in erotic animations. Movies appear behind the lenses so you can watch dirty movies anytime, anywhere. <laughs> As a bonus, I included a video of me. Oh my god. Booyah. Here, use this too. I bet it'll get your blood moving. Uh, what is um, this? You know. It's a recording of my moans. Oh my god! This girl! <laughs> what the hell? Huh? What? On your knees. I recorded a voice sample for you. You're welcome! <laughs> a virgin like you would never have the chance to hear this voice. This is grounds to file a sexual harassment complaint? Listen up! I got other stuff for you, but I don't feel like explaining it all to you. Just put it to good use, okay? Everything in the box you gave me was clearly for that purpose. Out of my way. Be happy! I made all this stuff just for you! Huh? For me? Sure. Don't men need this kind of stuff? You can't get anything done if you're always plugged up! It's weird to be handed this stuff just out of nowhere, whether I need it or not. I'm a bit taken aback by how nice me was being, though. Thank you. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> 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 see? Being honest ain't that bad, bad now, is it? I like how honest you are, since it's you. Sure. But I guess I can share my secret with you, too. Huh? Your secret. All right, let's hear it. Okay. All right. What? What? You, really? You'll hear my secret? Why is she being so shy? She's the one that brought it up. Booyah! All right. That's a great attitude. Now we're talking. <laughs> we'll work out the details later. Okay. Okay. Mew's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You know what? Productive free time, honestly. We're here for We had one, like, interesting free time and one, like, normal free time. Me was clearly in a very good mood as I returned to my room. What do I do with all these inventions anyway? Oh, there's a lot, apparently, you can do with them.
Dong, bing, bong. Dot, 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 dot. Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what'll happen to training. That's true. I should go see what Kaido has to say about this. I'm a bit worried about him. Ooh, we're going to meet Kaido in his room now? Okay. Hmm. I wonder if Kaido's okay. I hope he's feeling better. Right as I rang the bell, click. The door to Kaido's room opened, and out came... Maki! <gasps> Oh, Maki went to check on him. Uh, that's so cute. Oh, Maki. Uh-oh. Is she mad? Uh-oh. Oh, Kaido came out. Okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well... He told me he was going to skip today's training, too. I knew it. So he still doesn't feel well. Bad. It's pathetic. I've... Haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, okay. you know. Yeah, sure, Kaido. Do what you have to do. Ah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change your training or change this training. I, bleh, bleh. You are okay, I read that in my what's funny is my brain is going faster than my lips. And I read it perfectly in my brain. But, okay. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing. But I don't want you to change the training schedule. And I agree with her wholeheartedly. We don't give a flying frick about the student council. They can do whatever the frick they want. They do not control what we do at all. That is not their prerogative. Or that might be their prerogative. But their prerogative isn't something we have to live by. Because they're not necessarily correct. We are just out here training and they can literally see us because we're outside the dormitory. We don't give a frick about what they have to say. I am with you. I stand by that, Maki. 100%. You don't need to do that. I see. Really? But... No. Nope. I don't want to skip it. So it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? Wait, really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you want to die? Ooh. Huh? Die? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. I didn't know such habit existed. Well, anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about it. How I can confront it. Okay. So, if I have to train alone, so be it. Oh, don't leave Maki alone. We are not. We, 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 we Shu, Shuichi, you better go out there. I'm going to be mad if you don't. Uh, That's a dot. Um, Maybe it's because you're not feeling well. But this is really unlike you, Kaido. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Shuichi, I'm sorry, but I can't leave the training until I'm feeling better. Okay. Of course, Kaido. I nodded firmly and chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Thank you! I would have been pissed if Shuichi did that. I'm, I didn't think he would, but I would have been angry at main character. That would have been, like, the one time I actually get mad at Shuichi. Like, I've been in line with Shuichi, like, this entire time. That would have been a point of contention between the two of us right there. Hey. Maki, about Kaido. You shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura, aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of fire and ice. Uh, um... Maki! Her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Probably Angie trying to control us. No, it's not. Oh! <gasps> Wait, Tenko. Oh, no, 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 girl, girl, girl. This better not. This better not be what I'm thinking it is. This better not be what I'm thinking it is. This better not be what I'm thinking it is. This better not be what I'm thinking it is. This better not be what I'm thinking it is. And I swear to God, it better not be what I'm thinking it is. We have not seen Tenko be brainwashed yet. In my entire mindset, in my entire mind frame, my mind frame and body was like, if Tenko hasn't been brainwashed yet and she's simply complying for Himiko. She could literally be, right now, proving that she's not with the group, and the group can kill her. Oh, no. No, 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 no,
You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. No. No, Tenko. Tenko, Tenko, Tenko. Well. I'm not here to fight you. I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. No, Tenko. Huh? What? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't let me be right, game. That's right. That's right, Maki. I'm here as a student council. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you for a favor. A personal favor. Uh, a favor? Uh from us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Oh, no! I don't let me be right. 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 I swear to God, don't let me be right. I'm gonna be... I better not. I better not be right, game. I better not be right. Um... Yeah, uh, I'm not brainwashed at all. I better not be right because if I'm right and freaking I got blocked because of Angie and I couldn't talk to you because of Angie, I'm going to be mad. Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, 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 no. And she's playing. She's she's throwing her cover. She's throwing her cover. Tenko, no. Tenko, no. Tenko, no. You're making a mistake, girl. You are making a mistake. Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No, she's only doing it for Himiko. That's what I thought this whole entire time. I even mentioned that in the episode. Ugh. No. No, I could never believe in Angie being a god. Huh? What? Listen up. I only believe in Akito. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Akito values mental fortitude, and Akito moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to my Akito, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Then... So you just pretend to be brainwashed? Why would you do that for Himiko? Hey. It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretend to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think... Himiko has gotten so lazy that she's given up on thinking for herself. Like, you're not wrong. You are literally not wrong. And you're blowing your cover. That's why she's depending on Angie. I think Angie is dangerous. You're right. Tango, no. This is, this is hurting me. This is hurting me. This is hurting me because I think I know where this is going. And I'm like, this is where I think that there's been pieces and crumbs put together. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. That's right. The student council idolizes Angie so much that they don't see how dangerous she is. You're right. Ugh. They become clear. That has become clear to me after I infiltrated as a student council member. Yup. Oh, no. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that her, she is, actually, Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she's the under Atua's protections. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel. So she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. You were laying everything out of the line. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone for... Or asking somebody like me for a favor can only mean one thing. I yes. won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before all of this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. Listen up! But going through with it is different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well... Do you realize who you're talking to? <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. Uh, I... I just want to stop, Angie. The resurrection ritual is way too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But... But if the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own... Please! That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones that can stop Angie. Huh? Only us? Well, yes. obviously, I can't, or I can't ask Kokichi, Mew, or Kyo, and Kaido's not feeling well, you know? That's true. Oh, I see. You didn't have any options. Uh, yeah, okay. that's true. Please! So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you! Tenko bowed down as deep as she could. <laughs> I, her, I, I... This is, this is her last conversation with us. This is 100% her last conversation with us. Well. Let's go. Huh? What? We didn't even answer yet. Uh, uh, quick complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I'm even bowing to you. I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone if you need a favor from them. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So, what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you did, like something you would ignore. This is something I would ignore. Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. 
I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko, and it's dangerous to go alongside Monokuma's motive. Hey, then do Mayo. something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. That's for not. I guess I'll forgive you, though. Now let's convince Angie together. She should be preparing for the ritual right now as the Ultimate Artist's Lab. Huh? Or in the Ultimate Artist's Lab. Together? I'm going to. Huh. Of course. I wouldn't ask just Shuichi for help. I had agreed to help. But, and this is how you're going to treat me? Oh, well. I'll just go to Angie's lab. Oh, God. Here's the thing. Danganronpa is not going to let me witness the killing. But I knew as soon as we unlocked Angie's lab, Shoop was going to go down. I said it. Something bad is going to happen in Angie's lab. I, I remember. So I said somebody is going to get killed in Angie's lab because it has two locks. I swear if I called it. I'm going to be upset. And I swear if it's the person I think it is too, I'm going to be doubly upset. I better not be right on both accords. If I'm right on the place, I'm happy. If I'm right on the person, not the place, I'm way less happy. And if I'm right on both, I'm utterly upset. All right. Right. It's here. When I reach my hand toward the door. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure that door is locked locked oh oh that's right angie did say she locks the uh locks the room when she's working i grabbed the doorknob just to test it click click i knew it so it is locked About a minute. move maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door bam 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 hey. angie open this door now hey. wait maki you can't do that like that stop being little old miss page impatient hey. then how should i do it Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Teko turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Knock, knock, knock. Please. Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Knock the knock. Oh, oh Tenko. Yes. yes, it's me. After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! Yaha! Can I help you? Huh? huh? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um. Oh. Oh, I get it. You both wanted to join the student council, huh? Then you need to get acquainted with the Tua. I will introduce you to him. Oh, please, please, come in. No. No, it's not about that. Well. Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well. Hmm, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into our lab. But. We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. What? Why did she make sculptures of the four resurrected? What? Angie? Huh? Kaede? And Rentaro? Kurumi and Rayoma? Yoo-hoo! I made them. Don't they look so lifelike? Aren't they just so divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. yep. They're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Wax effigies. Why? Of course, of For the course. resurrection ritual, of course. Um, according to the Necromonicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls would probably have been better, but once I got to work, a Tua took possession of me. <laughs> yeah! And before I knew it, I made these! What do you think? Aren't they amazing? Ew. You do such cool things so innocently. Huh? What? But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah. Just like a real thing, but... Wax dolls of Kaede. It looks exactly like Kaede. The face, the body, it looks like the real thing. But actually... I was going to say the same thing for all of them. The more I look at it, the more it looks like Rantaro. What the heck, Angie? Hey. Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual. What you're trying to do. Uh, um... Don't you think you understand how bad that might be? I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember, this is the Monokuma that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. Uh... Uh, but the dead can't really come back to life. So the people who died must still be alive. No, no Angie. That's not possible. 
The bodies were not fakes. I am positive, especially after seeing these whack ef wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies had traces of soul. A soul, desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replaced or replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Ryoma, Kurumi, Rentaro, and Kaede are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me, I have seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they are really dead. Then if we do this ritual, we can actually resurrect the dead. What a miraculous mystery. Huh? huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died cannot be resurrected. But, but... Uh, but that's not what Atua says. He says that the, if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up till now will come back. So if we, those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> Because that's right. Because Atua is never wrong. Um, You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of, of course. course not. This is Atua's will. Okay. This is your will, not Atua's. No. Nope. Nah. -uh. It's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we really have to do it. If we can't defy a direct command from Atua, or else you will get punished, you know. You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will ever happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Then, there's no point in talking anymore. Uh... Huh. Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. Hey. Tenko, let's go back for now. No, Shuichi! No, 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 no. No, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that? You literally just threw her under the bus. We need to think of another plan. Yes. She just threw her under the bus and she knows it. That's a mistake, Shuichi. My boy, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake, buddy. Oh, that was a huge mistake, Shuichi. Oh, God. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. That was a massive mistake. Yeah it's already night time, so please be careful And as you head back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, Anne. Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tenko Tenko has betrayed... Oh! It is safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Ugh. But, but... It's okay. It's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and make this place a, our paradise. Y yes. What's going on? Why? Why are Suichi and Maki here? They're not even student council, and it's nighttime. Let me go. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tanko simply just betrayed the student council and brought the two to change my mind. Yeah. She betrayed us. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a big problem. And, but if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. Ah. Stop it. You're making me blush. Cut it out already! Enough already! Tanko walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah. Himiko! Please, snap out of it! Aren't you a mage? Uh. That hurts. Uh, let me go. <laughs> Himiko! Why can't you see that you're been, you've been brainwashed? If you can't see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Kimiko. Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Uh, um... Teko, let's just leave this be for now. Huh? Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cannot believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. Uh, I think it would be good or best if you get some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sounds good. Until then, I will continue preparations to welcome back our friend. Himiko didn't look at Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms.
Um, Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do! Uh, I know she'd never hate me, but she's, she'll demote me from best friend to just friend! Huh? You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up the nearest whole number, then we're basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little bit too much there. Well, well if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We're like an old married couple once we overcome this rough... Or we'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Well, that was a quick turnaround. Mm -hmm. You should let Shuichi teach you about how to apologize. He is really good at it. No. Really. That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. That's not... Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. That's what I was scared of this whole time. I was scared that that was going to be right. She bounced back uh, rather fast. I guess I need or didn't need to worry. Ah, oh. oh, you were worried. What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? Huh? There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well... What about that ritual? Have you given up per on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up. But changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Mm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Maki hurried to her room. Hmm. So Maki's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Especially now that I have able to talk to, uh, about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place. But I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing. Or it could be a bad thing. Monodon Theater. <laughs> in a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dream of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend a human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor, and because of how I would flop around on my desk, and because of my way my mouth opened and closed, as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life still haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. Oh, Monadam. It is time to get along. Yes, it is. I feel you, Monadam. I feel you. Poor Monokuma just da 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 the announcements. We're back to Monokuma announcements, guys. Oh, who's going to see us this morning? Theatercom. This early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. Well, in the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will see who that is and continue the story from where we are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm definitely scared for Tenko's life. I really hope that my brainchild does not come true, but I have a feeling it will. That is the ultimate material of the student council, and the student council will be after her. That is scary and not what I needed from her at all. I love Tenko, and I'm kind of upset that I wasn't able to talk to Tenko because of the whole Atua thing. But we'll see you guys in the next episode when we hope that nobody dies. But I have a feeling we are coming upon it real soon. Catch you all later.